Hello and welcome everyone to my Let's Play Painkiller The Black Edition. This is Zelgaris 115 and now we're gonna play the fourth level of the first chapter. I also dare say it's the last level as here the fifth one is a boss fight, not a level in its own right. So yeah, this will be the last uh, normal serious level, the cathedral. Now, after the catacombs and the horribly disappointing silver card, souls stay longer on difficulty without souls, uh, I'm hoping there'll be some serious reward for finding 500 gold coins. Uh, also, the cathedral itself is such a beautiful level that playing it is reward in its own right, and there's, it even has its own unique boss waiting for us, so... Yeah, I think we're pretty much ready. Let's do this! This is an awesome level, let's enjoy this. Okay, so from catacombs to catacombs. Here we are. Oh, so this will be an explosive beginning. Oh, see, these are jewel wielding uh, evil monks. They carry X in each of their hands. Small two bladed axes, unlike the ones in Atrium Complex level. Yeah, of course, this means they can throw twice before. Well, expiring, yeah. More like expire, they don't die. And the music in this level just kicks ass, it's, it's awesome. Oh! Shit, shit, shit. Not a very bright beginning. Actually, never did so badly. Oh well. Maybe it's because I'm getting tired, you know? I'm doing this whole first chapter in one day and... Ah, whatever. I'll stop complaining now. Let's enjoy this level. Oh, 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 close call. Phew, they're everywhere, these bastards. That's the end of you. Huh. It's awfully silent now. It's fascinating that this game can switch from creepy and despairing into heavy metal fun in, in a second. It's, it's awesome. I mean, what's not to like in this game? Well, maybe the lack of more cutscenes. I mean, they're just one cutscene per chapter. But still. Your cheap tricks won't affect me. But I'm out of ammo. Well, state gun ammo anyway. You can never run out of shotgun shells. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. What's this? Ah, the devil monks carrying red stuffs. Yeah, they're poisonous, as I mentioned in the atrium complex. They don't slow you, instead, they deal damage. But this one expired, which is good. 
poisonous damage, yeah. I believe I won't be able to avoid every one of them, so you'll soon see how Daniel coughs when he's affected by the poison. Really isn't a pleasant sound. Like he's vomiting or something. You see those vases up there? Now we could destroy them and it would help us in our object destroyed status but we wouldn't get much gold out of them and well we need to collect 500 gold coins in order to unlock the card out of 714 so it isn't that hard but ah let's collect as much as possible Okay, that's pretty much it. Oh, you see the icon up there? Our arrow disappeared. Our spider sense is concentrated on one big foe, and that's the big vamp guy over there. Even meaner and tougher than the one from the catacombs. Actually, he can be hurt. I mean, there's enough sunlight seeping in already. But, well, he can take a lot of beating. And you might also notice the stakes coming through the air. When they're in the air for quite some time, they set themselves ablaze. You see, like that. And then they deal even more damage than they would up close. Oh, and these are Psychonans we know intimately from the Atrium Complex. But as I mentioned before, they carry these rugby helmets or something. <laughs> anyway. Uh, which means they resist one shotgun shot even from very close and survive. It also takes two stakes to kill them. One just beats the crap out of the helmet and the other one shreds them to pieces. So it's an overkill with the second one but still you have to bother shoot them for the second time. But let's concentrate the big guy here. Can I make a screenshot? Why not? Just watch out for the debris fro falling from the sky. They they hit hard. But you don't need my warning to realize that. Oh shit! He can throw quite well. All right. You're not gonna stop us, are you? Oh, not again! Not again! Not again! Yeah, I so much love this level. But this music and, and this fight in particular is just awesome. Oh, he's down. This I'm very happy to see. Oh. I think even more of them are coming. Let's dispose of them so we can have our peace. You know, to collect stuff and do things and and stuff. Oh, that's it for the enemies. I could do with more. Even though I failed horribly the first part of this level down in the catacombs getting hit twice leaving me with 55 health points I did this fight without taking any damage and that's pretty cool oh my, my. look at my health statistics this is frame rate number blocking it I forgot to choose another location for frame rate my frap settings, I, I apologize for that. But it's not important. I have 100 point armor points and 55 health points, you can see that. Ah, oh, number makes me nervous. Whatever. See these barriers? They don't look like those from the atrium complex 
because these won't open uh, when the level exit shows up. Instead, do you know this symbol, this pentagram? It's the checkpoint mark. During certain checkpoint, they will open. I will soon find out during which. This means we'll have to reach a specific checkpoint in the game for them to open. Don't worry, it's no secret, we'll have to go there through there to continue. But just saying so we'll understand the game mechanics a bit better. Yeah, so there are doors which you can just push to open and then there are barriers and walls that open either when level exit shows up or when you reach a specific checkpoint. Yeah, like now. Okay, I think that's it for the large cathedral. It's actually the place where, where Daniel and Samael, the guard's messenger, met. Here we received a beloved map and the mysterious potion that I think grants us great endurance. That meaning 100 health points. Who knows, maybe before he just had one health point. That'd be bad. If Daniel survived with one health point so far, that, that's impressive. Right? Shouldn't you die? You know, like drop dead and stuff. Oh, you're making this close and personal. Collect the health pick over there. You can hear horrible screams from behind this portrait. But I lowered the sound so that my voice can be heard, so I'm not sure if you hear them. Oh well. You're gonna play the game for yourselves after all, after all, so it doesn't matter, does it? I'm just showing you how to collect everything. Haha, <laughs> beautiful. The way they build up speed and fire through the air, it's so rewarding. Ah, that was bad. Oh, close call. Whoa, watch where you throw that thing. You might kill people. You don't want that. Oh, the other side. God, they're quick. Not like in the atrium complex. Yeah, I still have to compare this level to the atrium complex because, well, they're so alike. The enemies, the medieval setting. Uh, one being a monastery, the other a cathedral. I wonder if these enemies are demons or just, you know, evil humans in purgatory. But if they be just other survivors, why would they attack me? No, 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 no. They're demons, so being commanded by Lucifer's general and stuff, but... I don't know. Whoa, that was a quick death. But some of these enemies just look like tortured souls, not like demons. So I I'm confused. Okay, let's collect it all before. Whoa, heading forward. 300 gold coins. As I said, it's really easy to achieve this, unless you're ignoring all the objects, the urns in this case. Huh? Did he throw something at me? I said a horrible throw because I didn't see anything coming. Oh well. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
very first secret. If I'll mess this one up, I'll have to repeat an incredible part of the level. So instead, I'm gonna walk over to next checkpoint and retrace back here in case I'll fail. And I usually fail at this one. So I'm gonna leave this corner alone for a while, but I'll return, don't you worry. I'm gonna miss has up a secret, no no. That's a beautiful opportunity to use a grenade. Loop loop. <laughs> Absolutely love that. Let the engine exercise. Oh that was bad. Yeah, this level is relatively short. Already heading through to the very final area. <sighs> All the way back to the ominous corner. Fine. First, we need to actually get on top of this coffin. I'm not even sure how am I supposed to do that. And now, painkiller jump. Not only painkiller jumps result in serious injuries, but most of the time they fail. So, make sure. You're not hitting this thing. Oh. And that's how it fails. So now I'll have to go back from the checkpoint all the way back here. Okay, I'll see you later. Second attempt. Oh, you see, this is why painkillers can result in injury. The physics. An object hits you too quickly and he deals incredible amount of damage. I lost all my armor and health. That's how powerful a painkiller jump can be. Okay, so let's do this again. The third attempt. I'd really hate to do this again, you know, coming <clears throat> all the way from the checkpoint back here. God, I even fail at climbing up there? That's not a good thing. But okay, let's not give up on hope. Oh, see the blood there? I think it's Daniel's. Sorry about that. Let's do this again. Here we are. Fourth attempt. Mrs. Hilda from Magical Fairyland. Grant me your strength, your luck, and, well, <clears throat> make this attempt a successful one. Mrs. Hilda of Fairyland, you betrayed me. By all that's holy and unholy, I shall not fail. See? I just lost all my life, but I did not fail. Well, so much for painkiller jumps. They're really killer jumps. And pain. So yeah, the name's adequate. Now, there's still two more secrets to go. Now I'm gonna show you the second one. I don't think there's a way to die in here, but I think I'll manage to die. Oh, yeah, this is hard. You'll have to pass through this column, but at the very edge, because we're too small to fit through. It's crazy. I don't know why they put such horrible obstacle, but oh, okay, there we are. The horrible thing is that we have to make another jump, and if we fail that, I have to go climb the column all the way up here again. Yeah, so much for trauma difficulty. No quick saving or anything, just checkpoints. Just ho hope I won't die because I'll have to do the painkiller jump again. Well then, wish me luck. Oh, oh, not good, not good. Huh. Yeah, okay, I don't think it gets any better than this. 
Fine. Now what? Ah, we did it. I can't tell you how great this feels. Now we have to go all the way back to the checkpoint we passed through in order to save the game and try not to die in the upcoming battle because if we will die I don't have to tell you what will I have to repeat again so let's kill these guys before they do the thing to us uh, that didn't really sound... oh I hate it when they spawn inside me oh where did you come from? Oh, my goody. Uh, yeah, these are the coughing sounds I was talking about when passing through the red poison. Sounds painful, doesn't it? Like if your liver would be coming out of your ear or something, I don't know. I think I saw something explode. Yeah, one of these monks must have thrown eggs at us but hit a barrel. Oh, 600 gold coins! And we still didn't even encounter the biggest cache of coins. Yeah, the hidden cache. I'm gonna show you the hidden treasure soon enough. Ouch! No way, I'm dying now. Where are they all coming from? This is not good. Not according to plan. Uh oh. Let's use the golden cards. We haven't done that yet, did we? Yeah. Feels kind of like cheat, but come on, we earned them. Boom. Oh, I love this. Ah! Okay, almost died there. And I don't love that. No one likes dying. But how fun would games be without the risk, huh? Let's make this game easy, cause dying is not fun. Nah, that's not the painkiller I'm talking about, don't worry. Fine. That's a checkpoint, so I think we won't have to repeat much. I see this happens when you press use golden cards key again. Just the noise and the cards appear in red. Oh, but I think we're no. I'm right. We're surrounded, and I'm dying. And that's not good. I have one health point. Oh, come on! I didn't come this far to die because of some magical wand. Okay, one health point and there's the level exit. What do you say we go in? Yeah, we unlock the car, alright. But no. There's one ammunition box we have to find. Boy, that's not good. Ten objects to destroy. And one more secret to discover. But where did I left that ammunition box? Yeah. This kind of always happens in the painkiller when I try to collect it all. Always one little piece missing. Uh, well, here a secret ladder revealed. Here's the level exit barrier here that blocked us from using the ladder. But now it disappeared because the exit level level exit appeared. <laughs> Where to? Still have no idea where we left that ammo box. Yeah, well, 
Secret area discovered. That's very nice. The secret area. Oh, we dropped one coin there, not going down there. No, 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 no. So, we have all the secrets, basically. We have the necessary amount of gold coins. Do we have it all? Hell no! One object, one more object, and one more ammunition box. As the object, something tells me there's also the ammunition box. But in case I'm wrong, I'm gonna cut this video, put away the boring part. I'm just gonna show you when I'll actually find the ammo, ammo box so that it won't happen to you again. Yeah, a little video editing never hurt anyone, did it? There we go. The ammunition box. Suddenly my game had a horrible frame rate. I don't know why. But what matters is that we're gonna finish the level. I think I'm gonna use the ladder. I don't feel like dying right now. There. Nice and safe. So we have all the golden stars. Not all the gold, but doesn't matter really. And we unlock the card. Let's see, let's see. Time bonus. Golden cards last 10 seconds longer. And no matter what kind of golden card combination you're using, you can always use time bonus. I mean, seriously, longer duration. That's pretty cool. Okay. Really happy about that. I like the previous annoying level with even more annoying card. This one made me happy. And it's gonna be really useful in the upcoming boss battle. Yeah, you heard me. Boss. Very big, mean boss. He's so big you can scarcely see him through the fog and well I will spoil the surprise so I'll see you and the boss later this is Algaris 115 signing off